Hi everyone, welcome to TBR Business Talk. I'm Dan Callahan with my colleague Edward Gottheil. Um, we're going to talk about IoT customer maturity. Now Ezra, we predict a 24.4 CAGR from 2018 to 1.1 trillion in 2023. Right. What do you think is driving that? What's driving that is the gradual evolution and maturation both of the market and of the customers. As the market produces more real solutions and the customers have a greater understanding of how these solutions can help their businesses, the, there's a, a not just growth but an acceleration of growth. We see the IoT continuing to accelerate growth for at least those five years through 2023. So Roger, you talk a lot about organizing for IoT. What does that mean in context of maturity? Right, so one of the concepts that we've discovered is, is that IoT is not a single project or even a collection of, of discrete projects, but rather it's a way of solving business problems using the combination of um, operational technologies and, and, and information technologies. So a mature company in terms of IoT is one that is organized and culturally appropriate for looking at problems that way and bringing together the, the different people from different teams necessary to create or choose solutions of those types. Now we talk a lot about Dell's new IoT solution. We call it close to package IoT. How do you think that applies to maturity or how is that evolving the market? Well, in a sense, Dell reflected its own maturity as it came to understand that in order to create solutions, it needed to put together bundles with, with uh, partners and find service partners to deliver, sell, and implement those, those things. At the same time, by creating solutions rather than individual components, it lowered the required maturity for its customer base. It lowered the barriers to entry for that. So Dell itself became more mature by delivering more leverageable products, and the customers no longer have to be quite so mature to take advantage of what Dell has to offer. Now we talked about organizing for IoT. How are customers actually doing? I think customers are moving along at a good pace. I think when we got started with IoT three years ago, even though there was IoT before that time, there was a great focus on huge transformational business model changing projects. And that kind of sucked the oxygen out of the room. Companies would, would reject a lot of real possibilities because they were looking for, to, to hit home runs. What's happened is as, as they've become more mature, the uh, availability of solutions at all different levels, at all different sizes, for all different kinds of problems, becomes their, the environment in which they swim, and they are now choosing the IoT they want. Yeah. And how do you think vendors are helping this along? What are the most successful companies up to? Well, as I said, this, the, the idea of, of getting closer to the solution, or of identifying your differentiated component that can contribute to the solution is what happens as the companies mature. Basically, we see the companies having a greater understanding of themselves, the market, and the place of their company in the market. So that's where we are right now. I think we're just compiling some predictions for the next coming years. Uh, what are your predictions for 2019? So the first of them is one, the one I just mentioned, which is the offerings and go-to-market of the, of the vendors are becoming much more disciplined. They know what they have. They know what kinds of partners they need. They know what kinds of customers can use what they have to offer. And they have a more precise go-to-market to, to carry the message to those customers who can help them. The second thing is this idea that putting together bundles, which require components from multiple vendors and require an appropriate go-to-market with a, an implementation services organization is going to become more and more popular. So what we're going to be seeing happening with, with IoT from 2019 on is a far larger number of solutions utilizing technologies that we are aware of and some new ones that come, uh, come out the line, but it's not technology oriented, it's much more solutions oriented. Finally, we see that, that things like AI are going to be packaged into these solutions. So we're not going to have to create a, a barrier of AI expertise and AI trained people in order to, to create solutions that leverage AI. Well, thanks, Ezra. That was informative. And uh, folks, if you want to learn more, please reach out to us. I think we're going to have our emails at the end of this video. And I uh, hope you guys 
tune in for more in the future. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Dan, and thank you, everyone.